Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope this video finds you well. I really mean that. I hope this finds you well and in good spirits wherever you are in the world. Concluding my presentation of the results of the viewer poll, wherein I asked all of you, my dear friends, to present to me your favorite Criterion Collection cover art designs. Today, it is my pleasure to be able to present to you that final part of the list that corresponds to those titles, each having received one vote. Reiterate, this was a poll where 101 people participated over the course of a number of months, and I asked people to present their top 10 favorite Criterion Collection cover art designs, and then I tabulated all the votes to create a kind of master list, and which is what I have here. And over the course of several videos, it's been my great pleasure and honor to be able to share with you the results as I have calculated them. So today, I'd like to share with you the last of that part of the list, namely those titles that received one vote each. By my count, this makes them tied for 182nd place. So 182nd place each receiving one vote. So once again, I should point out that where I have made some editorial decisions, I will let you know. If there are some uh, peculiarities that need to be noted, I will certainly do my best to let you know. And also please note that because of the sheer volume of titles that appear on this part of the, the list, I'm just going to go through the titles and the spy number. Uh, and I trust that if you are interested in pursuing the Criterion cover art further, uh, you can always look at the Criterion website directly for more information about the cover art illustrators, for example, or you can look at the physical media booklet itself because inside you will always find some uh, credits, production credits and illustrator credits and art director credits, etc. So I encourage you to pursue that further if you are interested. And finally, I should note that uh, along the way, of course, I acknowledge that it is, of course, very possible that I, have, I might have made some calculating error. Uh, I might have inadvertently left something out or not added something up, etc. I've done my best to go through it to make sure that there are uh, as error-free as possible. But, of course, uh, I cannot deny the possibility that I might have made an error somewhere. So along the way, if you discover that maybe I might have made an error, please let me know in the comment section and I will try to uh, acknowledge that to the best of my ability. But please note that I did do my best with this and I tried my best with counting, etc. Uh, but uh, if there are any errors along the way, uh, it wasn't intentional, uh, but I apologize all the same and uh, I hope you can understand. But hopefully there will be any issues like that, or if there are, they can be left to a minimum. Um, so without further ado, let me begin with the titles that received one vote each. Starting off with spy number 230. Three women. Next, spy number 5. The 400 Blows. Next, spy number 396. Ace in the hole. Next, spy number 198. Ali, fear eats the soul. Next, spine 1003. All about Eve. 
Next, spy number 95. All that heaven allows. Next, also at Spine 95, this was a specific reference to the DVD release of All That Heaven Allows. Next, Spine number 297. O Azad Balthazar. Next, spy number 446. An autumn afternoon. Next, spy number 60. Autumn sonata. Next, spy number 665. Babette's feast. Next, spy number 319. The bad sleep well. Next, spy number 1019. Bamboozled. Next, spy number 897. Barry Linden. Next, spy number 249. The Battle of Algiers. Next, spy number 100. Beastie Boys Video Anthology. Next, spy number six. This is the specific reference made to the first DVD release of Beauty and the Beast. So as I say, this is the first DVD release. Incidentally, here is the second DVD release and the subsequent Blu-ray. But the specific reference made here was for the first DVD release of Beauty and the Beast. Next, spy number 864. Being there. Next, spy number 792. Bitter rice. Next, spy number 740. The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant. Next, spy number 507. Bigger Than Life. Next, spy number 571. Black Moon. Next, spy number 428. Blast of Silence. Next, spy number 91. The Blob. Next, spy number 865. Blow Up. Next, spy number 450. Bottle Rocket. Next, spy number 839. Boyhood. Next, spy number 51. This is a specific reference made to the three disc DVD set of Brazil. Next, spy number 203. This is the set, the BRD Trilogy. Next, spy number 889. 
the breaking point. Next, spy number 705. Breaking the waves. Next, spy number 936. Bull Durham. Next, this was a specific reference made to the Laserdisc release of this title, Laserdisc Spy Number 171. The Burmese Harp. Next, Spy Number 341. A Canterbury Tale. Next, Spy Number 63. This is the Blu-ray version of Carnival of Souls. Next, spy number 57. Charade. Next, spy number 996. The Circus. Next, spy number 680. City Lights. Next, spy number 993. The Cloud Capped Star. Next, spy number 780. Code Unknown. Next, spy number 729. This is the complete set of The Complete Jacques Tati. Next, spy number 167. This is The Complete Monterey Pop Festival. Next, spine number 759. The Confession. Next, spine number 403. Cria Queros. Next, spine number 101. Cries and Whispers. Next, spine number 551. Kronos. Next, this is a title taken from Eclipse Series 32, which is Pearls of the Czech New Wave. The title that was designated was this one. Daisies and a report on the party and guests. Next, spy number 919. Dead man. Next, spy number 962. Death in Venice. Next, spy number 592. Design for Living. Next, this is spy number 930. This is for the entire set. Dietrich and von Sternberg in Hollywood. Next, spy number 102. The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie. Next, spy number 286. Divorce Italian Style. Next, spy number 745. Don't Look Now. Next, spy number 104. Double Suicide. 
Next, spine number 166. Down by law. Next, spine number 770. Dressed to kill. Next, spine number 904. Election. Next, this is spine number 796 and spine number 797. The Emigrants and the New Land. Next, spine number 840. The Executioner. Next, spine number 970. A face in the crowd. Next, spine number 451. Fang Fang La Tulipe. Next, this is spine number 175. This was specifically designated for the DVD release of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Next, spine number 42, Fishing with John. Next, spine number 333, Fists in the Pocket. Next, spine number 546, Five Easy Pieces. Next, spine number 638. Following. Next, spine number 627. The game. Next, spine number 594. Godzilla. Next, this is from Spine 1000, Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975, specifically for the artwork corresponding to the release of Destroy All Monsters. Next, Spine number 615, The Gold Rush. Next, spy number 800, The Graduate. Next, spy number 31, Great Expectations. Next, spy number 302, Harakiri. Next, this is spy number 156. Specifically, the DVD was designated. This is the DVD release of Hearts and Minds. Next, spy number 196. Hiroshima Monamu. Next, spy number 246. E. Viteloni. Next, spy number 566. Insignificance. Next, spy number 47. Insomnia. Next, spy number 692. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Next, spy number 903. Jabberwocky. 
Next, spy number 968. Hapon. Next, spy number 484. Jean Dillman, 23 Quai de Commerce, 1080 Bruxelles. Next, this is spy number 730. It is taken from the complete Jacques Tati set and it is Jour de Fête. Next, this is spy number 284. Canal. Next, this was specifically designated as the Laserdisc release, Laserdisc spy number 2 one. This is the killer. Next, spy number 325. Kind hearts and coronets. Next, this is also taken from Spine 1000, Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. Specifically, this is for the artwork of King Kong versus Godzilla. Next, this is spy number 568, which is Kiss Me Deadly, but the specific designation was for the booklet for Kiss Me Deadly. So this vote is for the booklet Kiss Me Deadly. Next, this is the set which includes spy numbers 990, 991, 992. This is for the Coker Trilogy. Next, this is spy number 640 taken from the set which is the Katsi Trilogy. This is Koyanis Katsi. Next, this is spy number 90. This is specifically the DVD release of Kwaidan. Next, spy number 324. La Bête Humaine. Next, spy number 818. La Chienne. Next, spy number 733. La Dolce Vita. Next, spy number 960. La Verité. Next, this is one where I had to exercise a little bit of editorial discretion. I received a vote for spy number 790, which is Lady Snowblood. This, of course, could have been Lady Snowblood or the complete Lady Snowblood or Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance. Uh, this is a very peculiar release from the Criterion Collection in a very good way, of course. But for purposes of this release, let us consider this to be the cover art for Lady Snowblood. Next, spy number 462. This is... The Last Metro. Next, spy number 478. Last Year at Marienbad. Next, spy number 296. Le Notti Bianche. Next, spy number 1020. Leave her to heaven. 
Next, spy number 398. Les enfants terribles. Next, spy number 503. Lola Montez. Next is specifically designated. This is a Laserdisc release. Laserdisc spy number 103. Lolita. Next, spy number 694. The long day closes. Next, spy number 43. Lord of the Flies. Next, spy number 71. The Magic Flute. Next, spy number 165. Man Bites Dog. Next, spy number 650. A Man Escaped. Next, spy number 304. The Man Who Fell to Earth. Next, spy number 926. Manila in the Claws of Light. Next, spy number 661. Marketa Lazarova. Next, spy number 881. This is for the entire set. The Marseille Trilogy. Next, spy number 999. Meituan. Next, spy number 658. Medium Cool. Next, spy number 943. Memories of Underdevelopment. Next, spy number 535. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Next, spy number 559. The Mikado. Next, spy number 107. Mona Lisa. Next, spy number 921. Moonrise. Next, spy number 573. The Music Room. Next, spy number 732. My Darling Clementine. Next, this is spy number 178. This was specifically the DVD that was designated, the DVD release of My Life as a Dog. Next, this is spy number 642. This is from the set which is called the Katsi Trilogy. This is Nakoi Katsi. Next, spy number seven. A night to remember. Next, this is specifically designated as the Laserdisc. Laserdisc spy number two five zero. A night to remember. Next, spy number nine eight four. 
1984. Next, this is spy number 1008. Old Joy. Next, this is spy number 140. Otoe Mezzo, or Eight and a Half. Next, this is spy number 358. Pandora's Box. Next, spy number 802. Paris belongs to us. Next, this is spy number 62. The Passion of Joan of Arc. Next, this is spy number 538. Paths of Glory. Next, spy number 58. Peeping Tom. Next, spy number 894. The Piano Teacher. Next, this is spy number 655. This is the set of films Pierre Etex. Next, this is spy number 421. Pierrot Le Fou. Next, this is spy number 971. This is from the set uh, Police Story and Police Story 2. This is for the film Police Story. Next, this is spy number 971 and 972. So this is for Police Story and Police Story 2. I should be very clear here because I received votes that said Police Story and then I received votes that said Police Story and Police Story 2. So I really didn't know exactly how to treat the vote for Police Story. Was it a vote for this entire set or was it a vote for just the one film? And so if it was for the entire set, then that means that the entire set would have gotten two votes. But uh, because I wasn't absolutely sure, just in case I gave an earlier one vote designation for Police Story, and then there's one vote designation now for Police Story and Police Story 2, which is this set. Police Story is here, and then Police Story 2 is here. Next, this is spy number 639. This is for the entire set of the Kotzi Trilogy. Next, spy number 945. A Raisin in the Sun. Next, spy number 135. Rebecca. Next, spy number 44. The Red Shoes. Next, spy number 404. Robinson Crusoe on Mars. Next, spy number 23. Robocop. Next, this is spy number 1014. Roma. And I should point out that I made sure to confirm the version of Roma because as you know there are uh, more than one titles with the title of Roma so I confirmed that this was this version of Roma. Next, spy number 157. The Royal Tenenbaums. Next, spy number 412. 
sawdust and tinsel. Next, this is spine number 229. Scenes from a marriage. Next, this is spine number 667. Seconds. Next, spine number 11. The seventh seal. Next, spine number 616. Shallow grave. Next, spine number 265. Shortcuts. Next, spine number 1021. Showboat. Next, spine number 20. This was specifically designated as the DVD release of Sid and Nancy. Next, this is spine number 13. This is specifically designated as the DVD release of The Silence of the Lambs. Next, spine number 788. Speedy. Next, spine number 516. Stagecoach. Next, spine number 760. State of Siege. Next, spine number 182. Straw Dogs. Next, spine number 614. Summer with Monica. Next, spine number 728. Sundays and Sibel. Next, spine number 360. Symbiopsychotaxoplasm. Next, spine number 829. A Taste of Honey. Next, this is also from Spine 1000, Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. Specifically, this is the artwork for Terror of Mecha Godzilla. Next, Spine number 697. Tess. Next, spine number 231. The Testament of Dr. Mabuza. Next, this is spine number 605. This is taken from the set David Lean directs Noel Coward. The film is This Happy Breed. Next, this is spine number 392. This is the entire set. Three films by Hiroshi Teshigahara. Next, this is spine number 37. This is the, uh, well specifically this was designated, the lenticular DVD cover for Time Bandits, and this is the lenticular cover right here, which is like a slip cover. It goes like this. So this is the DVD lenticular cover for Time Bandits. Incidentally, there is also the lenticular cover version that I have for the Blu-ray. Next, spine number 963. To Sleep With Anger. Next, spine number 910. 
Tom Jones. Next, spine number 825. A touch of Zen. Next is an unspine numbered set. The Trilogia de Guillermo del Toro. This is the DVD version of that. So here is the cover art for that. Here is also the Blu-ray version of this particular set. Now, uh, I unfortunately did not confirm whether the person who voted for this voted for the DVD set or the Blu-ray set, so I'm not sure. But in any event, here are both of them. Next, spine number 201. Umberto D. Next, spine number 716. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Next, spine number 835. Valley of the Dolls. Next, spine number 133. The Vanishing. Next, spine number 560. White Material. Next, spine number 855. Women on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Next, spine number 598. World on a wire. And last, but certainly not least, Spine number 717. The Young Girls of Rochefort. Okay, my friends, so that concludes the list of the results of the viewer poll asking you for your favorite Criterion Collection cover art designs. What did you think? Did you enjoy the poll? Uh, I hope you did. I had a lot of fun myself putting it together. I must admit it was, it took a little bit of time and uh, I really did my best. But once again, if there are some mistakes along the way that you identify, please let me know and you have my deepest apologies in advance. But I tried my best to avoid those, uh, so please believe me on that front. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, once again, this was a very interesting exercise, very rewarding, quite illuminating. It's always great to hear what it is you have to say and your point of view on this very important component of Criterion, namely its cover art designs. So thank you very much for providing me with this great, great opportunity to learn more from you. This is really a lot of fun. And uh, this also has encouraged me to try to do more of these big polls in the future. So keep a lookout on this channel for more polls like this maybe later on in the year. I haven't quite decided what to do yet, but I will do my best to come up with something. And if you have any suggestions along the way, of course, please feel free to let me know at any time. Once again, my friends, thank you so much for sticking around. I know some of these videos were long and uh, perhaps a little bit tedious, but I really apologize. But I really wanted to show uh, all the titles that were voted on. So uh, thank you very much for, again, sticking around uh, this long if you're still here. And uh, I'll see you at the next poll, which will hopefully be very soon. In the meantime, my friends, thank you once again. And until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much again. And cheers. Thank you.